Hey guys. Well, today I'm going to work on the center section of frame. Basically, you got the lower section of frame, and then there's going to be a center section, and then the roll cage goes on top of it. Um, I figured I'd just lay the bars out on here, kind of get an idea, maybe measure across how wide I want it to be. Um, uh, pretty much figure out how far back behind the seat it needs to go before it comes back in behind the seat. It'll kind of angle back this way, so I need to kind of mark that out. And then I'm going to make the whole thing out on the floor over here, but uh, let's kind of get an idea of where stuff is on the machine and where how wide I want it to be. Kind of looking at uh, being about this wide. Now there will be another section, well this section here will actually come up Probably somewhere across here. We could probably have a bar going across here and fasten to that. And then, you know, it'll have a piece coming off the front. And then, uh, two, probably two pieces coming off. You know, the piece coming across here, it'll come up and meet up with, like, where the steering wheel and stuff is. And then, uh, you know, so this section of frame here will be lower than what this, the level of the dash would be. And basically these bars here will go up and meet that. And then I also want to keep, this thing needs to be high enough that the engine can kind of fit under it. And I would like to use this section of frame here to be able to make some kind of maybe a motor mount coming across to the motor. Just a thought may or may not happen. And then this whole piece of frame will actually come at an angle across here. Probably somewhere around where that armrest is. Come across up here and then angle back in. And a piece across the back and then angle out and then bring it back around. But uh, I don't know how much video of this I'm going to be able to make, but. Well, get started. Alright, I think I got a drawing here. Kind of came up with a plan of what I want to do. The nose, which is right here. I'm going to do 16 inches wide. And then, uh, you know, coming back. I feel like I ain't got enough hands here. Let me next sit down. Ooh. 74 inches from here to this bend here. And then it's going to tail back. Uh, basically 12 inches from this point right here and then end up being 24 down here so uh, I think I'm going to start off with is uh, working out this length right here and then notch this out and start bending this I'm going to make both pieces at the same time so I can lay one right on top of the other and make sure they are exactly the same and then uh, and then I can work on building in the ends. But uh, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Let's see what we get. But, uh, both pieces, there's one right on top of the other. Same angle, so I'm just going to tack it up right inside so it can't change. And I've already changed some of the dimensions. Uh, the length is the same here, but the tail section I made it longer and it's also going to be wider in the tail than what I had. I had like 24 inches I put on there. Yeah. So I'm going to change that. Um, the next thing is after I tack that is trying to figure out a way so that it's true. So, you know, when I lay this one out here, they need to be, you know, so it's not like twisted. But, uh, so over and over again this uh, wood floor has always been in my favor I'm kind of glad that when I built this building I put a wood floor down one thing is the stereo sounds a lot better on a wood floor but uh, using the wood floor as a jig basically uh, this line up through the center right here is my center line and then uh, I ran this across from two joists or two seams to make a straight edge and I use screws to hold the thing in place, you know, put screws along the sides. 
to hold it in place so um, it's not a perfect thing you know but you know, it's better than anything else I got on hand so but uh, you know alright guys this whole uh, center frame section is completed and I mean like I finished welded it the whole thing this right here is this was an open end so I cut and notched this out and uh, so all the ends are sealed. But, uh, I don't know. Today, uh, a little, uh, the little welder and the uh, little 110 welder plugged into the generator seemed to be in a good mood. So I just went with it. I forgot one weld. I forgot to weld that. Uh, yeah, it seems pretty straight too, so we'll uh, get the frame ready and put it in there. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it quits for today, but I got this thing uh, kind of just propped up here. And uh, I like it. I like how this is going. Uh, I'll go out here another day and uh, put all the risers and stuff in there and i got some cutting out to do up here and pretty much you see what this front end is uh, it'll get like a box shape but I'll taper it down and then bring it in bring it in this way and then like put like an aluminum plate or something on the front of it Well, I got all kinds of stuff done, and I didn't videotape it, because I had some guests over, and I just didn't break out the camera. But, uh, still got a little bit of welding on some of the stuff that's on here, but we got the front, like, front end thing done. Got those risers in. And, uh, I don't own a square, so what I used was... That piece of wood there was a factory cut on one side and a factory cut on the bottom and I just set it on the frame here and got everything square with it one thing I kind of figured out with this little welder is that it doesn't do a very good job once it gets hot it shuts down after it gets really hot but it doesn't do a very good job it's you know right here it was starting to get kind of warm started getting kind of blobby you know, right, right here is a good one right there is a bad one but uh, for the most part it's doing a pretty good job and also I took the lower arms off took them home finished welded them with the big welder uh, there's some things here I'm gonna have to wait till I can strip the whole thing down and uh, take the frame home and weld across here. Yeah, I just it's just not logical to do it with that little welder. But uh, I guess next up we'll start putting the roll cage in and uh, some other pieces in here to bend her out. Catch you later.